And welcome back, it's Nicolex here. And today we're gonna to be continuing on with Yakuza Like a Dragon. So where we left off last time, um, Ichiban kinda just went through his life a little bit. And um, doing collections, didn't make anything, kinda showed that he had a big heart. Uh, didn't really take any of the money from anybody with the high schoolers. Um, so, yeah. Also, I want to say I love this part right here that uh, the head of the Arakawa family is actually like running with you, like running. Yeah, I think it was this one actually. I think that's a super cool addition. Like, that's super cool. Seriously? Hey, we're gonna <laughs> open! We need BK Doc! Relax, Chibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it though. <laughs> Another time, I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. He won't get away from us next time. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two. Ichibang, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. It's kind of a weird thing for, uh, for Yakuza, I guess, but... Now what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day, you won't be able to go back in here. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this... By the way, I had no idea what a soap land was until I played this game. I had zero idea what a soap land was, but... I know now. My mom worked at Soaplands, she even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the Soapland that took me in. I don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham-bam thank you, ma'am. Someone keep an eye on Ichiban. You know, it's it's kind of heartwarming oh, to see where here, Ichi. where Ichiban came from and hey, the kind of person he is. It's it's really kind of inspirational, you know. I was raised by this city's working class folks. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum, too. Wow. 
What? N never. You're everything I want to be. You're like a god. <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always That's catches true. up to a dumbass punk. <laughs> Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Otaki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa son! A little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. Let's go, you little shit. Uh, I... What? You... You saved my life. Why? How can I thank you? <laughs> Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. 
It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Gorakawa! Who's he? You know him? Must have. Go on I kind of forgot his name. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir. I had a foster dad, but he's dead now. Come on. Sir! It'd been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Oh shit, that's like, what, three, three and a half months almost? Man, that Oden is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it! You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. That's it. Hey! A new century is about to start. That was, I know you that don't want to spend the rest week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look. He's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me! Do this shit. It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. <laughs> Just wait till you see what I can do. Let's do it. So my thing, my question is, well, it's not really a question, it's just a thing that I'm saying, but like So why would the Yakuza like if they're if they're in criminalistic activities, why would they also do things like like this, like step in to help? Like I guess I guess just morality, I guess. Well, I guess also, it's, if it's on their turf, you don't want that staining your name that so you let it happen. Hey, motherfucker, are they waving the gun like that? I may have missed that a tad bit. Woohoohoo, you missed, bitch. Get fucked! Bam! Oh, you're 
you're in time? Okay, that makes sense, you fucking idiot. Idiot. Okay, I didn't have to do anything. Thanks. stands for you didn't even fight who is this guy he's crazy you okay she's like fuck that <laughs> get away from me hey come on at least thank the boss it's fine just forget it ichi remember where yakuza yeah i get it now then i'll see you later ichi you better show up at the office next year wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Man, he's such a badass. Now I wouldn't mind another drink. Fucking 2001, I was almost four years old. It's crazy to think that. have to wake up. Wake up now. <clears throat> oh shit. I fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Gone. Oh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now. I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. So they stole his wallet, but not his fucking phone? Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Eugene. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Alrighty, let's do it. Say to be inconspicuous, but I don't think it really matters to be completely honest. Oh yeah, it does. They actually have to avoid like main streets. Officers out here, and on holiday. Oh yeah, that one cop said there'd been a crime or something. Our call son said to be inconspicuous. Guess I should take the back streets. So, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run to the streets here. One turn. Don't you forget it. Oh, yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your place? Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you? This is a you here, my dumbass! Sound like such a little bitch. Let's fucking go. No more, no more, no more. Let's hit it. Bam! He's done. Check this out. Okay. 
thing. Ooh, nice too. Ooh, perfect guard. Ooh, perfect guard. Let's go. It's fucking heavy. Bang! He's done. Oh, Ooh, don't give a shit. Okay, I didn't perfect guard that, but that's fine. Uh, hit this boy here. Boom! Perfect! Get fucking perfect guarded, bitch! And we're trying to take him out. Mm. Oh, and he's stunned. Yes, yes, daddy. I'm just gonna just send him regularly. Bye bye. I think it's always funny when people say that after they get like in a fight. Like, what do you mean? What the hell was that about? Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. Oh shit! That took Did it really? Because it seemed like it took like fucking me, not even a minute. It's me, Ichiban. Boss. Good morning. Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sir! So he's pretty stressed. Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. That's also something I don't personally understand is the subsidiaries of a main family. Like, I don't really get that. Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then, Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will go up in smoke. Mm, I don't see. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Ichi, 
Would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Um, that's some blind ass loyalty, I'm gonna be honest. Um, even if, like, it years, but still. It's pretty blind loyalty to me. Happy birthday, Aniki! Hey, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday boy. What's up with you? Are hey, you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Did Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. Man, the New Year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In <laughs> 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Um, uh, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. Mm. For my last meal, let's go with the beef bowl. Okay, so I don't remember what happens to him, and that kind of weeds me out for a little bit because I feel like that's pretty important in the story. Maybe not at all, but I don't know. I feel like it's pretty important. I just like the guy, so I like to know. Okay, fucking just show up, why not? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Alright, let's use these pro Yakuza skills right here. Not fully going for it yet. Well, never mind. <laughs> oh, that's alright. Let's fuck him up. Boom! Bitch! Ooh. That lag. Sorry, I don't know what that lag is. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway. It was a lot easier than I thought. One more. Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl. It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. 
<laughs> Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years. Okay, I already see how this doesn't make sense. Because... There'd be no reason for him to kill him if he wasn't Yakuza at all. On top of that, I mean, that covers Joe's ass, but at the same time, it doesn't. Save her every so. last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> Enough stuff. Come back soon. That's a fucking man. Hey, buddy. Did you ever find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. We find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby is sentenced to 15 years in prison. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. I don't know what I'm going to say, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> Chapter 2, Bloody Reunion. Summer of 2002. Completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. Lazy fuck. and get back on the outside quick and easy. <laughs> Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <sighs> Not much to say, huh? Hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after school club of a family? Oh man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. 
You got locked up for that washed up has been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Bastard. I'll kill you! Try your best, little bitch. Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. Oh, they were talking good. shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody. Saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Fifteen years later. Number 1119. Letter for you. Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> it's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. In 2019, Ichiban Kasuka gets out of prison. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! The 
it's sad, but at the same time, like, it's kind of funny. Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. thought the welcome wagon was coming. Hmm? Uh, of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. I gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got, waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa police. A detective? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer, who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Ah, huh. well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence... Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarocho after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Tojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Camaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow. You're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great, whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What? Whatever. Do what you want, man. Salt you, but what did you do to my hair? I, I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> what kind 
kind of look are you going for, man? Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber is all. The hell's your deal, anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Chikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So... Who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this, then. Why'd you kill him? I've been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I... I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. What are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. How do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Susan Mori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet... You turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> well? Is Arakawa san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. You guys enjoyed.
like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.